All right, so now we start with question two. So they say to us, uh, the table below shows the results of a survey of cell phone expenditure for 100 learners from a secondary school in Rustenburg. Right, so there is our uh, survey. All right, so in the first class, we've got, uh, you know, 50 to 100 in terms of expenditure. Well, that's, a that's 24 learners, right? And between the classes 100 to 150, then we've got uh, 52 and so on, right? Now they say complete the cumulative frequency table in the answer book. So I'm going to do it right here, right? So that, uh, um, of course, we are going to save time. So cumulative frequency, we know we're going to have 24. We just simply take uh, that value there. That's our first value, right? So for the next value, you take the uh, this value plus 52, right? And that will give us the next value. So that will give us 76. Okay, so we add that. So 76 plus the 14, right? So in this case, that gives us 90. Okay, and the next one, 90 plus 6, that will give us 96. And finally, 96 plus 4, that should give us 100. And this uh, value here, must actually match the value that is given for the number of learners and also it must also give us the total that we've got over there so it does tell us that we are on the right track okay so that is perfect over there right now they say to us draw an ogive cumulative frequency graph right for the data now ladies and gents i don't have uh you know a grid before me but of course, uh, what we always do is let's try to do this, uh, complete this nicely. Okay, so you've got cumulative frequency. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that for every class, right? So your upper bound values are going to be the X value. And of course, the Y value in this case would be your cumulative frequency whenever you draw this, right? So uh, we've got, um, let's say the minimum is a is 50 and the maximum is 100. So we're going to say 50, um, actually the maximum is 300. So that's 50, 100, 150, that's 200, that's 250, uh, that's 300, okay. Right, so that's 50, that's 100, it's 150, it's 200, that's 250, that's 300. Okay, right. And when I look at our values, um, there we've got from 24 to 100. So what we can do is that we can just uh, uh, perhaps um, just divide them in tens uh, all the way up until we get to 100. Uh, I'm not sure if my space will allow, but we'll try the best we can, All right? So that's 10, 20, that's 30, 40, that's 50, that's 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, All right? So we've got cumulative frequency over here. Okay, frequency. Okay, and remember that uh, uh, X there tells us about the expenditure in rents, right? So this would be our expenditure. Okay, so our first value, fortunately, we don't have a lot of values here. So I'm just going to take that. So my first value at 100, we've got 24. So at 100, we've got 24. So let's make 24 over there, right? And uh, at um, 150, we've got 76. So at 150, there it is. Okay, we've got 76. So let's say it's somewhere there. All right, of course, you having a grid would draw this more accurately. So at 200, we've got 90. 
Okay. We've got 90. So there it is there. And at 250, we've got 96. So at 250, we've got 96. And of course, at 300, you've got 100. Okay. Right. So what our... Okay. And all I am going to do is just extend that graph uh, to the uh, first lower boundary, right? In this case, uh, you could have started 50 over here and uh, nothing wrong with that. But this is what our S curve is going to look like. Okay, right. So that's our cumulative frequency uh, uh, curve, our O curve, right? And then finally, they say to us, uh, calculate the estimated mean of cell phone expenditure right so now guys you need to please remember this so whenever you are going to calculate the estimated mean what we are going to do is we're going to find the product of the midpoint okay so remember between 50 and 100 what would be the midpoint there if i say 50 plus 100 divided by 2 Right, so I'd say the midpoint 50 plus 100 divided by 2, that would give us 75. So the midpoint here is 75. There, the midpoint between 100 and 150, that would be 125. Uh, I would have 175 over here. I would have uh, 225. And finally, I'd have 275. Now, you're going to take uh, to get my estimated mean, right? So I'm going to take uh, the values. Uh, so that would be the sum of X multiplied by Fi all the way uh, Fn rather divided by N. So what I'm going to do is let's take the first one. We said the midpoint is 75 multiplied by the corresponding frequency value. Right, so 75 times 24 plus the next value is 125 multiplied by 52. So 125 times the frequency value that corresponds to it. 125 uh, times rather 52. That's plus the next one, 175 times 14. Okay, the next one is one, uh, 225 times 6. 225 times 6. I do apologize, I can't complete them in one line, right? Plus um, 275 times 4. Now you're going to add all of these up and once you are done, divide it by the total number of participants in this case. Now remember how many participants were there? We've got a hundred, so this would be divided by a hundred. Okay, right, let's try to do that very quickly. Okay, so we've got uh, at the top there, we've got 74 times, uh, 75 rather, times 24. Okay, that's plus 125 times 52 plus 175 times 14 plus we've got 225 times 6. Okay, plus the 275 multiplied by 4. Okay, and all of this is divided by 100. Okay, and I get that estimated mean to be 132, right? They didn't ask us much here. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it uh, in that format. And ladies and gents, just like that, you would have actually earned yourself that eight marks. Okay, and now we're going to head over to question three.